Do you ever look at yourself and wonder what specific instances in your life have made you the way that you are? Me neither. I know exactly why I'm like this. Psst. It's Swamp, Swamp Girl Summer. Summer. Not to be confused with Swamp Ass Swamp Summer. Summer. The two may coincide, but are not mutually exclusive. I am of the firm belief that everyone once in a while needs to do a project that just screams, Dear, Dear God, God, what is, is that, that thing? thing? And so, let me bless your eyeballs. Art thou feeling blessed? <laughs> These boots are by a company called... Hold, please. Uh, Ava... Ava Vav. They're really out there doing the damn thing. And by that, of course, I mean making beautiful abominations in a world full of Kardashians be whatever the f this is. I have extra fabric from my dragon puppet that I think would really, really suit this. I thought, why not take a crazy chance? I would also like to counter this wretchedness with something slightly less cursed. A cute little dress to go with this. I am, in fact, a self-proclaimed adoptive frog mother. Look at this little guy. I would like to pay a little homage to my uh, web-toed children. <laughs> Now, because I tend to blather on a little bit too much before I start on <laughs> projects, we're just gonna go. I think I'm going to start with the dress, work on the boots tomorrow. But before we start busting open that pattern and figuring out materials, this video is sponsored by my all-time favorite, ThreadUp. To talk about that and to show you some of the clothing items I got this time, here's sponsor Rachel. Are you ready for a mini, mini thrift haul? Well, good. Today's video is sponsored by Red up. I have been working with them since the dawn of time. It's my first stop for when I need clothing and I don't feel like spending full price on it. Thread up is a massive online thrift store. You can search their thousands and thousands of secondhand items, narrow it down with all of the drop down menus and the size, color, shape, material, accent, so many options there. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more specific from maybe your favorite brands like Target or Free People, you can type that in the search bar. And not to mention, it's really nice if you are someone like me who is trying not to contribute to fast fashion. It just makes me feel a little bit better to buy secondhand and you save some cash roll, which is also nice. I, for some reason, am just on like a 60s and 70s kick. Let me show you a couple of the items that I got this time. First outfit, what I'm wearing right now, a little 70s amalgamation. The top is Forever 21, which was estimated at 15, but ThreadUp had it for $10.99. And then the skirt is from Old Navy, which was estimated at $40, but ThreadUp had it for $19.99. Do I or do I not look ready for a first aid kit concert? Yes. Second outfit. This top was originally from Adorn. These pants were from Madewell. <laughs> And then last outfit. This item is, I guess, a little bit more in tune with like my fantasy cottagecore side. So cute little corset top. <laughs> How cute is that? And that's what I got this time. And they're doing this new feature where you can make your favorites public. If you would like to take a little peruse at my favorites on my account, you can see with your own two eyeballs just how indecisive I am because I favorite so many things. If you would like to check out ThreadUp and save 40% not 30%. On your first order with them, you can head to the link in my description and use the code Rachel. That is it. Thank you so much, ThreadUp. Thank you so much, ThreadUp, for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's talk about the design of this lily pad dress. All right. Well, because I am on this 60s kick, I want to make a cute little mod dress. So it's going to be this classic shape, and I want it to be green. And I'm thinking that maybe I can add a little bit of lily pad details with the pocket and the collar. All right. Ow. Right. I am going to be making this dress from a pattern that is actually from 1969, not 1970, but a year sooner. It is this simplicity pattern. If we turn it over to the back, about four pieces to the dress and then some more accessories like facing, the collar, which I think will help me with my lily pad collar. It looks pretty simple and I think maybe we can bust this out today. Maybe. <laughs> Let us journey to my fabric stash. Okay, what have we got here? Besides a slightly stressful, chaotic mess that needs to be organized. I have this tablecloth. Doesn't look like there's gonna be enough because I've already used this. Yeah, there's definitely not enough of that. Shh, now, quiet. 
Uh, I also have this, which is like a linen. Oh, I've already used it. <laughs> uh, should be enough. Let's try anyway. Fabric acquired. Put this off to the side. Oh, oh, it's so slinky. Oh my God. Let's take these pattern pieces out, lay them on the fabric and make sure that we have enough. The back, side front, side back, front. Piece of crumb cake. What I might do, leave these edges that are uncut. Normally I don't do that because um, I'm a being of chaos and I like to risk it all. And because I'm known throughout the land as Rachel No Mockups Maxi, looking at the measurements, the waist is like 25 and a half inches, which I'll tell you what, my waist is not that. We can always go in if we need to, but I'm just gonna leave this the way it is. All right, unfortunately, it seems like we do not indeed have enough fabric for this. We still have this fourth piece that I don't think I could fit on here, even if I tried. I did have to go to the fabric store anyways to get felt for all of the lily pad details, so it's fine. <laughs> we'll go to the fabric store. Pain in the tuckus, but let's go. It's time to go. Oh man, it's like I'm paying here. Gonna ignore. Not yet. Mosey on down to the felt. This bit has gone on far too long. Let's try that again, shall we? that maybe I didn't need as much leeway as I thought I did and it was quite big so that's all right we just take in some of the seams much better but we still needed a few more adjustments okay so I've got a few more things to do on the dress itself like put all the facings in join the back and then put the zipper in but I'm gonna move on to the lily pads because I'm pretty excited about that and I think those, oh, girl, what with the saddest meows? Let me go over my idea for this. I am taking that felt and tracing a perfect circle. Add a little Pac-Man slit. Then doing my best to measure the outside of that Obviously, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more leeway. Then cutting out strips that are relatively the same, putting those on the edges. And then I'm gonna hand sew around the edges. This worked rather swimmingly. I decided to also do it for the collar using the pattern piece that came with it as a reference and just making my own little shape and just spent the rest of the day redoing that entire process. But let's journey forth to why you're really here. Are you ready to get a little cursed? I ugh, have never made shoes before or boots or boot covers. <laughs> this is an instance of taking something that I think I know, applying it and modifying it a bit, hoping for the best, also known as flutzing around and finding out. I have these boots, which are not cursed and are in fact quite smashing. And I am also coming armed with having seen cosplayers make boot covers on social media, also with the audacity to think that maybe I can also do it. I'm gonna put these on, gonna wrap my leg, in plastic wrap and then tape and cut that off. Those will be my pattern pieces. It works for armor and for gaming chairs. So I'm hoping that it'll also work for boots. I'm wondering if I should make toes first then I can have that to wrap around and have that be part of the pattern. Not only do I have some cursed fabric left over from my dragon project, but I also have 
this upholstery foam, which I don't really know what else I'm gonna use this for, so I might as well use it on this. I'm assuming these boots have some sort of rigidity to them. <laughs> Would mean a little less floppage and a little less um, likely to trip over them. Let's do it. Pay no mind to how atrociously messy this barn is. It is my den of chaos and I thrive in it. There's no ladylike way to sit in a mini skirt, so you'll just have to look at my Spanx. We've got our boot. Uh -huh. Toes. Yeah. Wow. Oh no. Like flippers. Like a Phelps better watch his ass. Coming for the gold, baby. Time to get to chopping, my friends. <laughs> yourself and wonder what specific instances in your life have made you the way that you are? Me neither. I know exactly why I'm like this. Uh, 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 uh. You're blocking the people from what they want to see. Splendid foot content. Get out. Thank you. I feel like you can really communicate how impatient you are with these ones. Well, <laughs> that's it. That's all I gotta say about it. Now I'm gonna wrap my legs in plastic. I'm only gonna do one leg, hoping that these are similar enough that one pattern will work for them. For some reason, this is just the stance I wanna have when I'm wearing these. I gotta be ready to leap. It's a totally normal thing to do. I ran out of plastic wrap. Dang it. I guess we can just wrap that directly in tape. Well, surprise, surprise, I ran out of tape as always. Unsure what my next step is. Searching my entire house for any kind of tape. That will do. Wish me luck. Five minutes later. Oh. Guess who found a whole duct tape roll? The craft gods have been good to me on this day. Ugh, can't bend. Oh my god. This is fashion. How are you? Having a good summer? I feel like a really weird mermaid. It's all coming together. You know, sometimes I wonder about people that watch my channel and maybe their significant other or roommate walks into the room at really inopportune moments or opportune moments, however you want to look at it. And I wonder if this might just be one of those times that you get an additional... What you watching? Check it out, baby. The old Rachel can't come to the phone right now. She's dead. You know, you could stop right here if you wanted a more space age amphibium, I'm genuinely out of breath. <laughs> I regret nothing. <laughs> Draw some lines. Hope you love hearing me out of breath because that's what this video is apparently. Where I'm gonna be sewing this. And so what I think I'm gonna do, almost slice it in half. Seventy-five years later. I am taking a slight break to give my friend Bill a call. He does in fact own the legendary boots. Also, Bill is a sweet baby angel who is so friggin' talented. <laughs> Are you guys like me where if you have really cool friends and you feel like you somehow like tricked them into talking to you and liking you? That's how I feel with Bill. Let's give him a call. Hello. Hello. Ooh. Little tour. Little tour. Boot tour. One, two, three, four. Four. Wow. <laughs> um, I can put one on for you. If you'd like. I would like. <laughs> the zipper only comes in here, so it's like a slimmy end. Oh, oh shit. <laughs>
This was super, super helpful to see like the scale and material and how they moved. And also he then sent me a video of them in action. The complete silence punctuated by the aggressive slapping of these boots makes me cackle every single time. He's truly the best, but back to work. Because these toes are so, as Jack Johnson would put, bubbly, I made sure to put some darts in there and I think that really helped keep the shape. Okay, I sewed the little darts, rotund. Sew all the pieces together inside out and hope that they line up. I should have done registration marks, but I didn't, so <laughs> let's give it a try. <laughs> Alas, it was time to sew and to apparently look at my sewing machine like it owed me money. Although if we're being honest, my real expression would probably be something like this. It's okay, you can keep the money. I just don't want any confrontation, man, okay? Thanks, I'm here all week. No, really though, this required some serious sewing gymnastics and so many pivoting and turning and it was honestly pretty satisfying. Okay, moment of truth. I hope this works. I feel like it's gonna be very this fabric is stretchy, so it's forgiving or frog giving. Mm. I definitely need to clip the edges on the inside. Hold, please. Oh! Too much oomph. Mmm, gross. I don't have the boot on right now, but I'm gonna give it a try anyways. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Stuff the toes first. It's like sticking a mascot hand inside of a Barbie glove. I'm doing it. Need more torque. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Ew. Yep, yep, yep. She's beautiful. Who is she? Oh, it's beautiful. I feel like an anamorph. Well, obviously we have some fine tuning to do, like making the heel cover a little bit more padded out, like maybe adding some stuffing here. But other than that, let's do the other one. Because I was kind of done with sewing at this point and really didn't want to take the covers off the boot, I just hot glued some foam over the heels, making sure not to ruin the actual shoes because I, I do like these boots. And then to spice up the lily pads a little bit and make sure that they're not the exact same color of the dress, I took my airbrush and just added some vibrant green details and make them look a little bit more like lily pads. And with that, it was time to assemble the dress and get ready for the reveal. Well, my friends, another cursed project comes to an end. How'd you like? Hmm? <laughs> I regret not a single second of this project. But here they are in all their glory. They're comfy um, because they are just boot covers. They're a little warm, not a lot of air intake happening or outtake. <laughs> a little amphibious down there. They're really fun to walk into. Really easy to get a proper strut. What do you think? Yeah, I get. Still got a little bit more work to do in convincing my frog children that I am their mother. Love me. Look. Oh, no. Go back. We're the same. We're not that different, you and I. See? We'll get there. 
the boots are just what they are. I, you know, I wasn't looking for perfection here. Just wanted to make something cute and silly. The dress, I don't know, man. My ongoing curse of not being able to make stuff that I find flattering on me just persists. I just, I don't know. There's something about it. I don't know if I need to take the waist in a little more. The vast emptiness around here and sleeve areas making me look a little too wide up top. I don't know. It's kind of cute, but also like kind of not cute. So I think the lily pad details in theory were really cute. The little lily pad pocket, what I, I might do, honestly, I might take the lily pad pocket off and put it onto another skirt or dress because I really do think it's really cute. Meep meep. The collar, I don't know. I think it's just a little too bulky because it is felt. But yeah, that was this project. I hope that you had fun. I needed a little break in between big projects to do something a little goist. And so here we are. I'm excited for the next video. Gird your loins for that. I'm excited to start getting closer and closer to autumn content. The time when I truly feel alive. Once again, thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out and you want to check my favorites, you can head to the link in my description and use my code RACHEL for 40% off of your first order. Ha that is it. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel, whoop, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I pulled a muscle. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Goodbye. This might be a bad idea. We're gonna find out. Mama's coming in. This is where I belong. I always forget there's no pockets in this dress. Oh my god. Let me do this. I was gonna say something and now I forgot.